It's the Mike Tech Show, show number 105, Saturday, January 20th, 2007. This show is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Please visit techpodcast.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Mike Smith. This podcast is also a member of the Blueberry Network. You can find my show and many other great podcasts over at Blueberry.com. That's Blueberry without the E's. Thank you so very much for downloading and listening to the show. Please remember to visit the main website at MikeTechShow.com. You can email me suggestions for future show topics, any comments, any tips, tricks, hints, websites. My email address is mike at miketechshow.com. You can leave me a voice message on Skype. My Skype name is Mike Tech Show, all one word, or the phone number 240-949-2450. All right, uh, let's talk about preparing for the daylight savings time changes. And I forgot about this. And I don't know if it's been talked about in podcasts you're listening to. I've had no time to listen to some of my favorite podcasts just because I've been so busy. I just haven't had a chance or an opportunity to, to sit and listen or even on my way into work. I've been on the phone or talking to someone or, and the same with coming on the way home. So there's been no time. And because of that, I know what my team is focused on, and that's going to be pushing a patch out to all the servers because our government here in the United States decided to change when daylight savings was going to occur. So instead of it being the first Sunday of April to start daylight savings, which would have been April 1st, 2007, It's now the second Sunday of March, so it's going to be March 11th. And previously, the daylight savings time ended on Sunday, the last Sunday of October, which would have been October 28th, 2007. Now it's going to be the first Sunday of November. And this impacts everybody in the United States except for... Arizona, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. It impacts Canada and the United States. Mexico will not be following the new Daylight Savings 2007 rules. I'm going to have a link to the Microsoft update for preparing for the Daylight Savings time changes now in 2007, And if you follow the link down, you will see there's an update available for Windows XP Service Pack 2, Windows Server 2003, Windows Server Service Pack 1. Windows 2000, there's an update available, and it's under the extended hotfix support. There is no fix for Windows XP SP1 or Windows NT 4.0. Both of these are no longer supported, so Microsoft has not released an update. You're going to have to do this manually. Or you would have to create a registry entry change that you can make. What you want to do is take a look at this. If this is going to impact you, you definitely want to apply the fix. It's also going to impact your backup jobs that you have scheduled. So in preparation for that, I'm going to have two links. One to the Semantic Net Backup, which is Veritas's Net Backup, and also Backup Exec. And the reason I have those two links is because I received them from my vendor, Semantic, because I have both of those products to worry about. I also received one for the patch for HPUX. I'm not linking that. Um, I'm sure very few of you have that. If you do, you can certainly go to HP's website and search it, and you can find it. Make sure, don't forget about Linux. Uh, HP also has the links to the Red Hat patch that you would need. So they're worried about all the operating systems that they support. So it was great that the vendors were on top of this in sending me uh, links and updates to this, and I wanted to pass that on 
We're working on it internally in making the changes to all the desktops. The desktop team has the patch ready to roll. They're going to use Altaris to send that patch to all the desktops. We're getting ready to use Update Expert, which is how we'll deploy the patch, and that'll be it. And then we'll take care of uh, the individual fixes for the uh, semantic products. So I wanted to pass that along. It's very important if you're time sensitive for your servers for different processes or applications or uh, things running on the server and you need the correct date because you may have schedules or jobs running uh, don't forget about those backup jobs make sure that you take the time and apply the update if you need to yeah.